We're gonna be bringing this back from the grave, bringing it back from the dead. This is my land bag, my travel backpack. I pretty much use this throughout my entire pro career. Whether I was just traveling from home to the facility or going to the Overwatch League or going to different events, I brought this everywhere with me. Okay, so pretty much when, when, break. <sighs> deep breath, it's just a bag. All right, so the team that I was on, LA Valiant, was sponsored by Razor. And when Razor sponsored us, they gave us these backpacks and they do this with all their sponsored esports players. Now, at the time, they weren't selling these bags, but now they resell them. There is an upgraded version, but all the bags that Razor is selling right now that are similar to this, I will be linking those in the description below. So we're gonna take a look at the front of the bag. We're gonna start on the outside and we're gonna work our way in. Front of the bag, we got the Razor logo. Nice neon green telling everybody that I am a fan of Razor. Nothing wrong with that. This bag was really well designed. I don't anticipate needing a bag anytime soon. I feel like I'm gonna be using this bag for a really, really long time, whether I'm just traveling, somewhere where I just need to carry a bunch of stuff. I don't see myself using any other bag. Here, this is one of my favorite parts about the bag, is this Velcro panel. What this is used for is Velcro stickers, but pretty much I had an Overwatch one over here and I had a Lucio one over here. Lucio, the character that I played in Overwatch. And it's a cool little thing that Razor added, pretty much just adds that whole element of giving you the opportunity to customize the bag and make it uniquely yours, which I really, really like about this. Now, when you look on the bottom and the top, you have these different straps or these, I guess you can call them handles. I've used these for different things. I've used them to attach keychains, pretty much attach another bag. If I want, like when I'm walking through the airport, if I have two carry-ons, I'll just kind of latch or tie on my second bag over this, which is hanging from the front. There's different things you can use it for. You can kind of slide things in through. So yeah. Okay, taking a look at the side of the bag. Nothing too special about the side here, except for these buckles on the side. Standard for every bag. I can't even buckle this. There we go. I've never really used them. Sometimes they got annoying for me when I'm trying to zip it down and they're in the way. Totally up to you. I've never really used them, but it's a cool little feature. It's got a little green stitching over here. Just to kind of add another element to the bag. Now for the other side, this is a little bit different. I really like this part. Like every bag has a bottle carrier, but with this one, it's kind of disguised. So you can kind of zip this down, open it up, put your bottle in. And when you're not using it, you just kind of tuck this adjustment string in here and then you zip it back up and you're good to go. That's something that I really like, something small, but it just kind of adds to the bag, which is cool. Now for the back, pretty standard, aside from the fact that again, more straps where you can add different keychains and stuff like that to kind of customize it to make it uniquely yours. Another thing, I had a lot of stuff in here. Like I would fill up this bag. I had my keyboard, my headset, my mouse. I had a bunch of clothes. Like I would use this for a carry on for traveling or even going to events, like I said earlier. And I never really found that my back was hurting. There's a lot of adjustments that you can do with the straps, like on top of here, depending on your height. You can also connect the two back straps together if you'd like. I've never really used it. Standard adjustments on the bottom here, if you want. And the padding, pretty good, well-designed, it's reinforced. And I like the fact that it's green. All right, now for my favorite part about the bag. When I got this bag, I was like, yo, this bag's insane. It has all these pockets and stuff like that. I can fit everything in here. And then it wasn't like a few months after I got the bag that I noticed this part on the bottom. I found the zipper, I was like, what is this? Check it. Unzip the bag. Say it's rainy outside. You don't wanna like damage your gear. I don't want my gear to get wet. Look no further than a bag umbrella. Basically, it acts like an umbrella. It goes right on top of the bag. And if it's wet and you wanna dry it out, clip it off and you're good to go. And it also acts like another pocket if you choose, if you want. Stand up the bag, pretty much like this. It fits around the entire bag and just enough room in the back over here, right? So you can still have it on your back while also protecting the front of the bag and your gear. And it has a little Razor logo. This is my favorite part of the bag. When I first found this out, I was like, oh, wow. now for the inside. So first pocket you see when you first look at the bag is this front one. So you zip it down and then you can look inside. Pretty much what I used this pocket for was more for books, papers. I really kind of put garbage in there that I didn't really need. Something 
small that they added to this bag is this covering to the zipper. Again, another addition to the bag that just kind of adds to it. This bag is super high quality, super solid, well done. Moving in for the next pocket. So this one zips down halfway. I'll fold it down. What did I use this for? Pretty much stored my mouse and my headset over here. And this little pocket kind of used for small things like chapstick if I needed, or like pens, pencils, things like that. These pockets, I kind of stored my, like a portable battery pack charger for my phone. This was more of an accessory pocket for me. Moving on to the main part of the bag, pretty much the main pocket zips all the way down. If you choose to do so, folds out. I don't know if you guys can see. And you can pretty much store your clothes. I put my laptop in here, my keyboard. Another cool feature is it comes with this padding on the bottom here. So this way, if it is raining or if you do put your bag down on a wet surface, nothing inside is really gonna get affected because it also has this rubber grip on the bottom here too. Okay, now for the second last pocket. It's on the back of the bag. So pretty much halfway down and if you look inside again it's similar to the main pocket it isn't as big but again i would use this more for papers more for i don't know if you guys have files i would sometimes store my laptop in this pocket here and there's a small little cover i think i even have yeah i still have that in there anyways and for the last pocket it's at the top pretty much i would just unzip it here and I would have super easy access if I had my phone in there, my wallet, my passport, or even my earbuds. Just go in, grab, zip back up. It was super easy instead of having to put it in one of these front pockets. I really like this bag, as you can tell. Again, I will put all the Razor bags that are similar to this in the description below where you guys can purchase them. You guys can check pricing. If you guys are into it, subscribe, like the video. And as always, GG's in the chat. See you guys later. Beep.